Hello world, it's Mr. Resistor, back continuing our Alpha New Bro experience, and it is an exciting day. We are going to be finishing the starter career missions. So, as you recall, we left that running overnight, so go ahead and deliver that. And we missed out on our uh, on our reward time bonus, but we got it done. We got our uh, bonuses for manufacturing, completing the the uh, missions, and also manufacturing. A frigate. Um, so, all right, if we go to industrialist here under manufacturing, battle, frigate, destroyer, cruiser. Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> a lot of times you get, uh, well, I don't want to say a lot of times because I haven't gotten one in a while. It used to be that you would get uh, blueprint copies for ships um, and you'd sometimes get destroyers or cruisers uh, as a login reward. Um, haven't seen that in a while. I don't know if it's still going to be a thing. Um, if so, then those are the ones we'll use and if not, then uh, maybe we'll buy some, maybe um, maybe we'll just get a copy from, uh, one of my other characters. We'll see. All right. So, uh, what did we train? We got trade. We got a whole upgrades. Okay. And we've got for rewards today. There's the uh, Amar Foundation Bay Expert System, so this gives you skills with a bunch of Amar ships and Amar weapons and that kind of stuff. <clears throat> um, got a, ooh, nice, medium cargo hold optimization. So I'll, prob I'll put that on one of my haulers. Um, Go ahead and redeem that. Uh, tranquil electrical filament. Um, <clears throat> one of the things on our list of things to do is going to be a, a uh, abyssal dead space. Um, so yeah, we're going to do it. Um, we'll see. Uh, we probably won't get to that immediately um these come up as rewards relatively frequently so maybe we'll collect collect a few uh before we start um for the uh for the lowest level ones you can do solo uh in a tech one cruiser um you just have to be a little bit careful about your fitting um right so like let's see the uh, electrical have reduced EM resistance, but enhance ship capacitor recharging. Um, so probably for that, we'll want to go um, with an armor fit. Um, so that'll give us a little bit, a little bit better. Uh, that'll be a little bit better tank for that situation, most likely. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll figure all that out when we get to it. That's not going to be, it's not going to be immediately, but it is going to happen. Uh, okay, so. Do, 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 do. Um, so what we are going to do now
is we're going to go to a Mars base. Um, <clears throat> so, there is a question of whether we want to take our trusty venture, try to do some mining missions. Um, that'll be tough. Uh, but maybe it's doable if we can find a good crew. Um, I'm not set up to do it with uh, uh, in a fleet with my other characters. So, and uh, definitely at this at this level, um, <laughs> I'm not even going to attempt to solo it. Up. Uh, <clears throat> now. Let's see, where are we at ISK-wise? 15 million? You can put together a decently fit venture um, <clears throat> relatively cheap. Um, and you see this one, this one we're looking at 400K, right? And uh, so this is estimated price, including the ship pretty good um, so real quick let's simulate and uh, <clears throat> show what I would do if I had uh, everything available let's see if we can keep that medium shield extender uh, I think we'd probably want to go with Centropic, and then typically, uh, why am I, no, I want to go hardware, so I would go with Alright, so that gives us some decent HP. Get rid of this. Go for do 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 damage control. Oh, let's uh let's limit it to things we can fit. Um you know what though? Can I do T2 shield extenders? No. All right, so, and then maybe, let's see, modules, or breaks, I mean, um, do, do. uh, extender, I could probably do a T2 extender. T2 Purger. And let's see. Oh, what does that do again? Duration of shield booster cycles. Okay, we don't have a booster. Uh, uh, uh. Solidifier. Save card. Maybe another extender. <coughs> right, so that brings so that brings us up to about five thousand EHP. Not great. It'll do the job. Um, one of the things with these mining events you do have. Um, you do you do have pirates coming in. They're a little tougher than the ones that you would typically encounter in uh, in high sec asteroid belts. It can be a little bit tough. I have 
I have lost ventures um, in those uh, uh, in those before. So you really want to kind of focus on survivability. Um, you know, your drones. Hopefully, you'll kill them uh, relatively quickly, right? Because that's the other part of survival survivability is killing the other guy first. But um, yeah, we can't we can't count on that. So, um, so we need decent tank. Um, and honestly, I mean, this is pretty much the, this would be the low end, um, venture fit that I typically fly with. Um, the higher end would, I'd put T2 mining lasers, um, T2 shield extenders. And uh, sometimes I'll, and I might go for a 10 uh, mega Newton afterburner. Um, and usually I'll swap these out for capacitor. Um, but that's a fit that serves me pretty well, and it's kind of my my normal my normal fit for flying an adventure. Um, anyway, but here's the price on that, right? And it's mostly going to be these, right? That's 16 million. No, 24 million right there. So without these, we're looking at 5 million. So if we... get rid of those um, or even let's see if we even just go with uh, let's go with three extenders so you get similar similar EHP three T1 extenders 5.6 million um, and yeah I mean that's that's the reason why we play around in the fitting tool um, so we can figure all this stuff out um, <clears throat> But for the events, you really do want to go for the T2 mining lasers uh, if you can, because um, they, let's see, if we compare, do, 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 mining amount. So EPS Gaussian 50, miner is 60. Um, that will make a big difference in uh, what rewards you get. Um, if you've got the money for ore, well, <laughs> uh, then you don't need my advice. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, <laughs> all right, so, but I think we're not gonna, let's see, we are going to save this fit. Uh, so, meta tank. All right, we'll save that. And uh, I think what we're going to do instead is we'll go with the slasher. Um, so, Ditch that. Do we get a hmm. we did not get oh what else what is it called? Inertial stabilizers. So inertial stabilizers will increase align time, which increases your traveling speed considerably. Um, it might be worth three hundred eighty. All 
right, let's compare these, shall we? <clears throat> All right, so signature radius modifier is gonna be our downside and inertial modifier is our upside. Um, right, so domination faction, CT1 16.75, T2 is 20, type D is 18.5. Can we get below two. Doesn't look like it. Well, that's okay. All right, so, um, but we don't need these. Let's see, overdrive injector, that'll help us go a little faster in system. We've got micro warp. Uh, what else do we want? Oh yeah, a festival launcher. So we'll just take one of those. <clears throat> Can we fit that? Insufficient power. Huh. All right. Um, Let's see, what else do we have? Put a web of fire on there, maybe? That'll help us with damage application. Um, we're going to be out there for a little while, so we'll be doing some, uh, some missions. You know what? Let's just go with two of those. Oh, no, never mind. That takes away our space, let's see. Do we want Yeah. So we probably don't even need any of those. Alright, well Yeah, let's go with that. it we can put these back on because it's what we got um, if we happen to run across uh, electrical I think Amar is mostly electrical and uh, EM and thermal I think because uh, they, they use lasers sufficient required charges. That seems unlikely. Oh, for the festival launcher, that's why. 
Um, let's see. We'll take our Minmatar. Fireworks. Just to poke the Imperialists in the eye. And let's see. We'll leave the ammo if we need more. While we're out there, we'll buy more. That seems like a plan. Okay. Well then. <coughs> I believe we have our ship. So we're going to Tash Mercon. Right, so there's our system. Oof, 25 jumps. That's way too far. But wait. Settings. God, stay in high sec. We are going to live dangerous. Now we're down to 17. And, uh, not even any null sec. Should be okay. All right, well, here we go. If we don't make it, uh, we'll <laughs> respawn here, and we've got another festival launcher, so. Uh, if we get caught in a gate camp, then. <laughs> then we'll try again in the safe route, I guess. Uh, we shouldn't get caught. As long as we're not autopiloting through. Warp drive active. <clears throat> These low sec systems should be okay. Let's see, we're going through a boot band and a score and okay. Yeah. <coughs> We'll say I have two other characters that have ships that are just stupid fast. Um, got uh, one that has an, an interceptor. Um, I think it, I want to say it's a stiletto. Um, with the travel fit, so it's got the inertial stabilizers and some other stuff, and it has the uh, under two second align time. Warp drive active. And uh, I also fitted it with the rig that makes it go, makes your warp speed faster. Um, and some other stuff, and uh, <clears throat> man, sometimes you get uh, you get these boosts that give you better, uh, uh, faster travel speed. You get those during the Galente event, and uh, man, I was getting up to like what was it, like fourteen or fifteen AU per second. Maybe it was even sixteen. I don't remember now. But it was so fast. Warp drive Just active. unbelievable how fast it was. <clears throat> um, the other one is a Prowler, uh, which isn't 
which is just an inherently fast ship, the uh, blockade runners. If you've got a pl if you got places to go, <laughs> if you got a long way to go and a short time to get there. Let me rock let me recommend a blockade runner. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and it's not even fit That's especially right. for Active. speed. It's fit for carrying capacity. Um, so, but it's uh, it's fast enough that it's a genuine pleasure to fly, even when I'm <laughs> moving stuff relatively long distances. Bob drive active. I gotta say, even even taking the longer safe route in that ship isn't too much of a pain. Um, <clears throat> of course, I got it with the intention of of uh, doing runs between uh, Heck and Jeta, but never ended up actually doing it. Uh, okay, Edencom, we're fine with Edencom. Bob drive active. going to low sack. It is nice that they give you those warnings um, by default because um, uh, drive active because yeah it can it can be can be real easy to make a mistake and get yourself into some trouble. Yeah there are a lot of stations a lot of NPC stations in this system. Oh, that's weird. Wonder why. So the other thing we want to keep an eye on um, is local over here. All right, so we've got this guy here flashing yellow, which means uh, he is suspect. Um, that does not necessarily mean that. So if it was red, then that would mean that he. Uh, had attacked someone um, as yellow. Uh, that means you know maybe stealing someone's loot or being suspicious in other ways. Um, hey, hey, there he is. I think he's maybe just going the same way we are. Um, but you'll see some of these, sometimes those guys will be active. scouts for gankers or so associated with gankers in some way. Um, uh, maybe, maybe they're the person that comes in and, and, uh, loots the wrecks afterwards. Um, those guys will commonly be yellow, especially if they're, uh, weren't part of the group that got the kill, which of course, you know, you want to be careful about getting flagged red. Um, so, but, so that means technically they're looting wrecks that don't belong to them, drive, which uh, they have to be suspect to do. Um, so might as well talk about that right now. This little, this little green button down here is our safety setting, right? So you want to typically leave it as safe. Um, that keeps me from crossing any boundaries accidentally. If I want to do 
uh, something suspect. Switch to yellow. Um, uh, certain things like uh, activating active. wormholes, um, like you do when you do go to uh, do uh, abyssal space, or um, sometimes there will be some some events that'll give you, or you'll get um, things that'll open wormholes to like Molsack or or Walmart wormhole space. Um, <coughs> Uh, you have to be yellow in order to activate those and then um, drive active. red uh, allows you to attack people basically Um, again, we'll see. We'll see where we go with this character. Maybe we'll go red at some point. Um, probably not soon. I think I want to try and <clears throat> get uh, get other stuff done first before I go and dis destroy my security rating. Warp drive active. But PvP is on the list, so I guess we'll have to figure that out. Oh yeah, I came to one other uh, drive active. One other conclusion, I think, which is. Um, that I'm not going to edit these. I mentioned in some of the previous episodes, I've, I've finally started uploading. Um, so hopefully, actually, the first one should be going up today, if you're wondering how far behind uh, we actually are. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but, you know, like I said before, that gives me a little bit of buffer. Um, I believe you can... Uh, Sort of pre-load uh, videos active. to go live um, at different times. Uh, so I'll probably end up doing that, and um, you know, so that way, again, just in case, just in case power gets shut off or. If I have to <clears throat> take a couple of days off for some other reason, like uh, traveling or uh, I'll be moving drive uh, active. soon, so although that shouldn't cause much of a disruption, it is possible. Um, yeah, so there there should be there might be a couple of days in there where. I won't be able to record, and that way, I'll still be able to put stuff up uh, every day. Have a bit of a buffer. But anyway, um, the editing thing. Um, you know, after thinking about it, because I was thinking, man, uh, that could be lame. Let's see, uh, I choose you, market and industry. Pretty mu pretty much uh, opened everyone, as far as I know uh generally safe to visit um docking request accepted yeah anyway as i was saying um my goal is to give a realistic uh representation of what it's like to play eve and you know sometimes it's slow um it's just kind of the fact of the matter, um, and um, you know, while it might not be the most exciting thing in terms of what to put on YouTube, 
I think it's more important that I give an accurate representation of the game. Um, and that that was my initial goal, and I think I'm going to stick with that. Um, just uh, you know, so um, sorry, some of my videos are long. Um, so we're going to go ahead and work to this parade. We've got our stuff ready. Um, but yeah, some of my videos are going to be long and boring, and um, hopefully it's chill, you know? Maybe I can be a channel that people watch to just chill. That'd be cool. Whoa, man. <laughs> that spawns in, in your face like that. Cool. <laughs> right when I was saying, oh, hey, this could be a chill channel, and then the game's just like, surprise! Alright, so. We're at 36 minutes right now. Let's see. Wow. We can do T2. Um, we're going to stick with level one. Um, Kala Kyoda? That's called Dari, I think. Uh, let's see. Galente? Yeah, Kaldari. Expert Distribution? Okay, Kaldari. Oh, Kaldari, 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 Transteller. Oh, that's Bosek. Let's go with Hysec. There we go. Tash Murkan family. Yeah, Amar. So you can see we've already got a negative Amar Empire standing. Um, so that's part of why I'm going to do some uh, uh, missions while we're here. Um, probably slightly negative. Yeah, slightly negative with Kaldari. Um, <clears throat> but Amar and Min Matar are opposed factions. So um, we'll do a little bit of reputation repair while we're in Fort the area. Drive active. Coming up on 40 minutes, though. So. I think. Docking permission requested. The, uh. Mission running is gonna be for. Docking request tomorrow. accepted. So while some of my videos are gonna be long, I definitely don't want all of them to be. Right. So, is it a high sex system in five different regions? Cool. Um, oh yeah. One other thing. Um, so long term. Ooh, I can only have one jump clone. Um, <clears throat> I was about to say. Uh, long term, we may want to put a jump clone somewhere, um, but since we can only have one, uh, as an alpha, probably don't want to put it here. Um, but this is a skill that we will want to train. This code book's a little bit pricey. Maybe we'll get one as a reward. Um, let's see, biology. We've got cybernetics. Actually, let's see. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. 
actually, let's see, those are all faction. Can we actually fit? Let's see, where are we at with these? Um, cybernetics is one of those that you want to get up because you want to fit. Um, you want to fit the best implants you can to get the bonuses for the skills that you're training. So you need level 4 for standard, which gives you plus 4. Yeah. Um, yeah, so, anyway, I think, I thought for a moment that maybe we wanted to just training a little bit, but I don't think we do. So with that, let's see, we'll grab our ISK, DEEM, and call it a day. So until next time, have a good one.